What's good Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji and today I want to talk to you guys about a question that I get asked so often and it's regarding Garyon Conley. Now everyone knows Conley was our starting corner and with him being traded there is a void left at corner and a lot of people have asked me why we would trade a player who is really only in the second year and why would we trade him when he showed a lot of potential a lot of flashes well there's a reason why we traded him as you guys see on the screen the guy's getting burned left and right and this is nothing new gary on conley has already allowed five touchdowns this season which is horrible and to take that a step further he's been beaten a number of times he's only been targeted about 26 times but he's given up 18 catches which is about 70 percent a completion percentage but when you compare him to someone like daryl worley who's been targeted 35 times he's only given up 19 catches so not only has worley been targeted nine more times than conley but worley's only given up one more catch than conley and i'm taking it a step further to talk a little bit about lamarcus joiner People will say things like, why is Joyner getting a pass? He's pretty much sucked, right? And if you look at his numbers, they're not great. 29 receptions on 36 targets is not good at all. But at the same time, one thing you have to consider is playing the slot corner is much different than playing on the outside, right? When you're playing left corner or right corner, you have the outside boundaries to help you. Right? You can uh, just, you can slide a little bit to the inside and, and you can line up a little bit deeper, a little bit shallower and know that the receiver is going to only make one break. When you're playing slot corner, it's much different. You're right in the middle of the field. So the receiver can go left, right? He can take you deep. There's so much more you have to do. And then on top of that, you have a bigger impact on the run game, right? In my personal opinion, right after the quarterback position, playing the slot corner is the hardest position. That's just my opinion. And I think we'll be okay. You know, I really like Daryl Worley. I like where he's at today. I think he's only going to get better. I think he's, what, 24, 25 years old. Worley's super young. You know, and there's and he, he, he is Gruden's guy, right? Gruden brought him in and Gruden wanted him. And that's why he's on the Raiders. The guy can make plays. Uh, to take it a step further, we have some young rookies coming back. Um, we also get back Nevin Lawson from suspension, uh, but taking it back to the rookies, we, we're going to have uh, Isaiah Johnson back. We're going to have Trayvon Mullen, who will be able to get in there and, and show us what he can do. Uh, he's allowed four catches on five targets, but he really hasn't been able to get uh, into a rhythm. Uh, he hasn't allowed any touchdowns, which is great. Overall, I don't think the Raiders are in a bad spot. You know, I, I think they're still in a really solid spot. I don't think they're in, in in any sort of spot where they need to say, hey, let's go out and, and spend a first round pick on a corner. Let's go out there and get a player like Xavier Howard uh, or Xavier Howard from the uh, Dolphins. Right. There's a lot of good corners out there, but I don't think the Raiders need to uh, make that push for those corners. I think for now, we took two corners in this last draft. We still have Nixon, who's a uh, undrafted player who I think with time can also improve. I think we're in a pretty solid spot. You know, again, I think Gary on Conley was a, a big problem. You know, like he couldn't really tackle. He's given up a lot of catches, touchdowns. He really wasn't doing what we needed him to do for the Raiders. You know, he was really struggling. And to be honest with you guys, his value is at an all time high right now. It's only going to go downwards. He's only going to be worth less and less. A third round pick is really important. You can get some good players with the third round pick. Uh, you can get a player like Chase Winovich, who the uh, New England Patriots took. You can get a player like Arden Key, who the Raiders took a couple seasons ago. You know, there's a lot of third round picks. Gabe Jackson's a third round pick. We can get a really good player. We saw Gary and Conley was not cutting it. We gave him six games this year to prove it, and he just wasn't getting it done. Anyways, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to see what this secondary can do against the Texans. I'm super excited. I want to know how you guys feel about our secondary. Let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you guys are not subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.